I could give advice, but I really would be faking it because I haven't been in that end of the thing at all. And uh, they now are using young people with young thoughts and uh, young premises. And uh, they're not using the type of episodes that we had, which uh, was uh, the boss comes to dinner and he forgets her anniversary and so forth. They don't have that kind of premise. Almost all of them are on sex and uh, romance and sex and sex and romance. And uh, whether someone could get into that by the way we got into it, I really don't know. I know if you have that talent, uh, producers will take you on a, on a series. Uh, that's the way they did w with me with Norman Lear. Norman knew I could handle it. Uh, I didn't have to write anything special in order to get in. Uh, uh, now, if you're not known, I'm sure that you have to write some episodes. And you write the episodes and show that uh, if you had been on the show, this is what you could have contributed. Uh, one thing you cannot fake is, uh, is comedy writing. And uh, if you don't have that feel for comedy, forget it. Where do you think you got that from? Is it something inherent? I uh, went in a little to this. I had one grandfather on one side that used to cut uh, funny things out of newspapers. And uh, he always had a saying to me, I'm visiting you. If the mountain won't come to Mohammed, Mohammed will come to the mountain. He was one of those things. And he would say, uh, if a little boy swallows a nickel, is he a nickel in or a nickel out? You know, so I figured that this man's background, my grandfather, seeped through to me. Now, my other grandfather was in a San Francisco uh, girly chaser. And he went to all the burlesque shows and so forth and so on. And he introduced me to burlesque very early. So I think if blood means anything, that it, it came out that way. And then when I started writing, everything I wrote turned out funny. So it was, it was in me. It was in me. I didn't sit down and, and, and study it. And I have some things that were in the high school paper that are pretty corny, but they were all attempts at, uh, at, at, at laughs. Another thing, too, and this is just a theory, but I think one of the reasons I got to this old age, albeit with uh, the help of uh, walkers and so forth, that I spent most of my life laughing. We would all get together and Alan Lipscott, one of the old time writers in our business, someone asked him how you write comedy. He says, you keep typing until you type something that makes you laugh. And uh, it was pretty much that way. So. Uh, we would spend spend a whole day. All my life was in studios. And uh, at uh, 20th Fox, at Universal, at Roach. And uh, we just uh, laughed our heads off. Then we went to the show and laughed some more. And I think that that does it. <laughs>